Can you imagine a world stripped of its natural resources? How would it look? How would it feel? This isn't just an idle question, but a very real consideration we need to grapple with. We live in an era where the concept of natural resource depletion is not only theoretical, but an impending reality. These resources, from the air we breathe to the water we drink and the soil that nourishes our food, are the very essence of life on Earth. They are the backbone of our societies and economies, yet we are using them up at a pace that far exceeds the Earth's capacity to replenish them. If we continue on this path, we risk not only the health of our planet, but also the survival of future generations. The stark reality is this, the Earth's resources are not infinite, and their overuse could lead to dire consequences. To understand the gravity of the situation, consider these startling facts and figures. Every minute, we lose an equivalent of 27 soccer fields of forest to deforestation. That's about 78 million acres of forest each year. These forests, often referred to as the lungs of our planet, are vital for absorbing carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. Yet we're rapidly depleting them, compromising our very life source. Moving to water, a resource we often take for granted, yet it's dwindling at an alarming rate. Approximately 30% of the world's fresh water is wasted due to inefficient use or leaks. That's equivalent to losing over 125 trillion litres of water annually, a volume that could fill over 50 million Olympic swimming pools. Then, let's talk about fossil fuels. Every day, the world consumes about 95 million barrels of oil. These fossil fuels have taken millions of years to form, and we're burning through them at a pace that's simply unsustainable. And it's not just oil we're rapidly consuming. Each year, we extract around 7 billion tonnes of coal, and this number is steadily increasing. Our planet's biodiversity is also at risk. Current rates of species extinction are estimated to be between 1,000 to 10,000 times higher than the natural extinction rate. This loss of biodiversity threatens not only the beauty of our world, but also the functionality of our ecosystems. Moreover, our excessive consumption of natural resources is driving climate change, with global temperatures projected to rise by up to 4 degrees Celsius by the end of the century if we continue on our current path. These are just some of the numbers that represent the repercussions of our actions. They lay bare the magnitude of the crisis we are facing and the urgent need for change. These numbers paint a grim picture of the future if we continue on this path. So what does this mean for our planet? Well, let's delve into that. The environmental impacts of resource depletion are vast and far reaching. We'll start with climate change. As we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas for energy, we release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This excess carbon dioxide traps heat, leading to the warming of our planet. This global warming threatens the delicate balance of our ecosystems, leading to more frequent and severe weather events like hurricanes, floods and droughts. But the impacts don't stop there. As temperatures rise, so do sea levels, threatening coastal communities and wildlife habitats. The warmer temperatures also disrupt the habitats of many species, leading to a devastating loss of biodiversity. Species are disappearing at a rate up to thousands of times faster than the natural extinction rate. We're not just talking about the cute and cuddly ones here. We're losing insects, plants and microorganisms that play crucial roles in our ecosystems. Next, let's talk about water scarcity. As we deplete our freshwater resources, we're left with less water for drinking, agriculture and industry. In many parts of the world, people already lack access to clean, safe drinking water. As freshwater resources continue to dwindle, this problem will only get worse. And last but certainly not least, there's soil degradation. As we strip the land of its natural resources, we're also degrading the quality of our soil. This leads to less productive farmland, threatening our ability to grow the food we need to feed our growing population. So, as we can see, the effects of resource depletion are not isolated incidents. They're interconnected, creating a domino effect that threatens the health and survival of our planet. The impact of our actions today will echo for generations to come. Remember, the effects of resource depletion extend far beyond just the resources themselves. It's not just about running out of coal or oil. It's about the broader impacts on our planet and all the life it supports. We're all in this together and it's our collective responsibility to ensure a sustainable future. But what does this mean for us, the human race? As we continue to deplete our planet's natural resources, 
we're not only harming Mother Earth, but also ourselves. Let's delve into some of these impacts, starting with economic instability. Our global economy is built on the assumption of infinite resources. But as these resources dwindle, industries that rely on them will face severe challenges. Imagine a world where oil wells run dry, mines become empty, and forests are reduced to barren lands. Industries such as construction, manufacturing and energy production would grind to a halt, leading to massive job losses and economic downturns. Yet the economic impact is just the tip of the iceberg. Resource depletion can also lead to serious health problems. Air and water pollution from unchecked industrial processes can lead to respiratory diseases and contaminated drinking water. When forests are cleared for agriculture or logging, we lose not only the trees that produce oxygen, but also the biodiversity that maintains ecological balance, potentially leading to the outbreak of zoonotic diseases. Food shortages are another alarming consequence. With the overuse of water for agriculture and the degradation of fertile land due to overfarming, we're threatening the very means by which we feed ourselves. Picture a world where fresh produce becomes a luxury, where the price of a loaf of bread skyrockets due to grain shortages. Finally, let's not forget the social conflicts that can arise from resource depletion. As resources become scarce, competition for what's left can lead to social unrest and even wars. Water scarcity, for example, could turn rivers and lakes into battlegrounds, and countries with rich mineral deposits could become targets of resource-driven invasions. All these scenarios paint a grim picture, don't they? They serve as a stark reminder that our actions today have far-reaching consequences. We're not just depleting resources, we're undermining the very foundations of our societies, our economies and our health. The depletion of natural resources threatens our very existence. Now you might be wondering, what can I do as an individual? It's a valid question. After all, the issues of resource depletion and environmental sustainability seem so vast, so overwhelming. They're global problems, aren't they? Well, yes, they are. But they're also local problems. They're problems that every single one of us, in our own little ways, can play a part in solving. Let's start with the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. These are actions that we as individuals can take every day. Reducing means using less. Less energy, less water, less packaging. It means turning off lights when you leave a room, choosing products with less packaging, and taking shorter showers. Every drop of water, every watt of power, every scrap of plastic that we don't use is a tiny victory in the fight against resource depletion. Next is reusing. Instead of throwing things away, think about how you can give them a second life. An old t-shirt can become a cleaning rag. A glass jar can serve as a vase or a container for leftovers. By reusing items, we extend their life cycle and decrease the demand for new products. Recycling is the third R. When we recycle, we take materials that would otherwise become waste and we turn them into new products. This saves resources and reduces the amount of waste that ends up in our landfills. But beyond the three R's, there's also the power of choice. We can choose to support companies that are environmentally responsible. We can choose to eat less meat, which has a high environmental impact. We can choose to walk or cycle instead of driving when possible. Our choices, big and small, have a ripple effect. They send a message to businesses, to policymakers, and to the world that we care about our planet and its resources. So what can you do as an individual? A lot, actually. You have the power to make a difference, to change habits, to influence others, and to help our planet.